Tumag is a town in northwest Croatia, close to the border with Slovenia and just 40 kilometers from Italy. Situated on the Istrian peninsula, Umag is the beating heart of a region renowned for its medieval towns, vineyards and olive trees. Once a year, Umag plays host to tennis's ATP Croatia Open, one of the most popular stops on the world tour. Vanja Bozicković is the tournament's director. The concept of our tournament is quite unique on the ATP World Tour. 24 hours a day, we offer fans different activities at our tennis centre. Of course, the tennis comes first, but when the matches are over, we start our party programme. Although Goran never won this event as a player, it's always held a special place in his heart. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the tournament, and the hottest ticket is the exhibition doubles match, which kicks off the two-week festival of fun. Legends of the game, Mansour Bahrami, Henri Lecomte, Thomas Muster, and Ivan Isevich all pull out the party tricks to the delight of the Croatian crowd. It's a fun start to the tournament, but Goran isn't here simply for a few laughs. Just a few hundred metres away from the show courts is the Umag Tennis Academy, where, by day, Goran is working hard on the serious task of bringing through the next generation of Croatian tennis players. I'm trying to teach them to understand the game, that they need to take it seriously, but also that it has to be some sort of fun. They're still very young and will go through a number of setbacks, a lot of good moments and some bad ones. As someone who has been through all that, I think I've had the experiences to be able to explain to them that it's not all about the end goal, the tournaments. They need to go through much more before then. And that's why they're here. We're teaching them how to behave on and off the court. And we tell them about all of those things that lie in wait in the future. Alan Greblo is the UMAG Tennis Academy's director. Goran Ivanishevic is a brand himself. He's the most successful Croatian player of all time, the winner of Wimbledon. He's a star wherever he goes. At the moment, as a coach of Marin Cilic and a selector of junior players for the Croatian Tennis Federation, he's definitely a name that attracts tennis players to our academy. One of the academy's brightest lights is 11-year-old Alan Bill. I would like to be a successful tennis player when I grow up. My aim is to be in the top ten and to win Wimbledon. Alan hails from the town of Umag itself. And to have the opportunity to hit with the great Goran is a privilege not lost on someone so young. Sometimes it is a bit scary, as I don't know how I will perform. But I try to do my best and to play as well as I can. It's amazing playing with him. He's one of the leading players in Croatia at under 12 level. He's very talented, but he has to work hard. These are the important years. Unfortunately, I don't have a magic ball to tell you if he'll make it as a top player or not, but the foundations are there, and I hope for him that he becomes one. But it takes a lot of sacrifice, hard work and luck. We'll see. He's certainly a very good player. With a beachfront out onto the Adriatic Sea, the newly built academy has a range of facilities to cater for aspiring talent and bona fide stars of the game alike. Over recent years, this sun-drenched part of the world has garnered a reputation for attracting tennis stars. Reigning Wimbledon mixed doubles champion Nenad Zimjanic of Serbia often makes the short trip over the border to Croatia to take advantage of the 26 practice courts. 
It's very hard to explain why it is that the region of the former Yugoslavia has produced so many great sporting talents and successful athletes. Perhaps there is an extreme need to prove yourself and to be competitive. We have shown that we are exceptionally good at team sports, as well as individual sports. I hope there are many more young players coming through after us. And that is the point of academies like this one. So that young talent can come from all over the world and learn from the very best, like Goran is. Current Croatian number one, Marin Cilic, is a three-time Grand Slam quarter-finalist and 2010 Australian Open semi-finalist. This year he's acquired the services of Ivan Isevic as his coach. Standing at six foot six inches, Cilic is two inches taller than Goran, who he first met back in 2002. Firstly, it's really interesting to work with Marin. It's an honour, but also a big commitment, and it's a great challenge for me. I've helped him before, and I'm trying to get him to realise that he needs to play more aggressively to get back into the top ten. That's the goal. It is doable, and it will be a fantastic achievement if he manages to get there before the end of the year. One of the most important things for me, and what Goran has kept on mentioning, is for me to change my approach to the game itself. That I need to be more aggressive and to make the most of the skills and weapons I have as a tennis player. I think I've improved a lot on my serve and that has helped me with my whole game, in becoming more offensive and taking more risks. And I'm sure that that is the right way to go, going forward. The ultimate sporting hero in a sport-mad nation, Goran Ivanisevic is now overseeing youth development for the Croatian Tennis Association. With Marin Cilic back in the world's top 20 and 2013 junior Wimbledon champion Borna Koric fast climbing the rankings, Croatian tennis is in very safe hands indeed. Croatia is a very talented country across all ball sports. Not just tennis, but football, basketball, handball and volleyball. And outside of ball sports, we have great athletes and skiers too. Now I've been appointed the Tennis Federation's coordinator of players between 12 and 18 years old. We're working on our junior programs getting even stronger. And I have to say, we have great strength in depth in male and female tennis, and the future looks bright.